Tuesday, February 15th. It's around 8.55 a.m. Um, so that's shorthand still between the 6 and the 9, or the half and the 3 quarters. Um, longhand has moved into the next quadrant um, on the circle. Um, the outside and the grid says um, 15 today. Um, it's vibrating outside. Um, then I turn on the remote learning of what are the humans trying to profess or confess or what are they stating for today and on comes a story about Hertz H-E-R-T-Z uh, now what's interesting is Hertz um, usually like when the children or my children if they fall and they become bloody or they scrape whatever or they bang into something they say it hurts it hurts which I never really thought much of but in the grand schematic of the planet today in my section of Bayside Station while this there's no clouds um, there's some kind of vibrational tuning or sounding going on which I guess in sound, some of the people in vocation, I think that they call it hertz as a measurement of something. Again, I don't have the professional sector words for to build a vernacular of like, I mean, that's what, I mean, I can. Then I'm reading last night about what, this is what my son comes home from the local school with, um, which is how we used to vet information, but I'm just concerned because it's in, within the New York City, whatever, of people that I don't really necessarily trust. Um, and it is t talking about unrest in the colonies, the change in thinking. It talks about the put the Potomac or the Pontiac I'm like now is that the Thunderbird or the Firebird because in ancient times we had a much better whatever um, it does also come Readworks org it has a license on it with 2000 I just felt the big one. you felt a big one yeah yeah big big vibration 2017 um is where, and it says it's an international license on this storyboard format. Um, I, and then it mentions something about King George. I never heard of it. I mean, again, you gotta remember on my grid system, it has a false king, it has something called a Martin Luther. I'm like, I know that's not right. Um, but it doesn't have the correct king in, on the grid or on the calendar schedule. The world's not working right in healthy environment of, like, my face is all bloated. I mean, it, I'm like, I'm a mess genetically at the moment, not because I, I mean, just because the world's not working. And then you've got humans inside of, like, the tank of an aquarium called Planetarium, I suppose. And you're like, they're not functioning right as a society or group. So up here, they've got a tie-in story on this media of explaining things to people. And it says that they threw, like, the human version is there's a car company named Hertz. It's a rental company. It's an enterprise of some sort, although that's a different car company. Um, and they, the man uh, is a vice president, 
because he's a super customer, and apparently he got arrested for stealing a car. No idea what that's about. But again, in like esoteric, I'm like, now I'm hearing hurts. Oh, look at the sunlight. I'm hearing hurts outside, like hurts level vibration. Lou just came in, confirmed he's hearing it, and it's much larger than it was earlier. I mean, here. It's so significantly vibrational. I can hear it when I close the window in the background, and then it 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 moves. It literally moves you, um, but it's not like a quake from the ground. It's more from. It feels like it's more from the dome and the air. Um, whatever. Here and here's the human story on the teleportation device. Over the past few months, we've been telling oh. you the stories of... So, anyway, so they say in here, um, for George Washington, which, again, I know there's the rock and the paper with George Washington on it and a bunch of different genetic profiles of who we are. Um, but it says King George in here, which, again, I've never heard the humans use those words. Like, they don't speak of Prince... Queen, there's no parliament here that they speak of um, or, te or teach of. Um, they're really just at president level, and there's a couple of different words they use, but management looks a little off, so that gets confusing for who to go to when you need help, um, for me anyway. Um, so, I'm like, all right, so if King George had a sister, or cistern, C-I-S-T, kind of a thing, um, because, like, there is, I know people get, like, mad at everything, and they jump off the handle at, like, crazy stuff, but, like, there is... A portion of genetics where like I say they're kissing cousins because it's kind of like they look so much alike at doppelgang that the phrase they all look alike really makes sense and there's strength in those numbers if one of them gets hurt um, to try to support and help the others um, I just again um, at old world religions, I mean, that's the way that it was. Um, you would defend them, you would never try to make them look any worse than whatever their situation that they were thrown into, and you just know that if you wouldn't have done it yourself that way, they most likely didn't ask for it or push themselves into harm's way either. Um... But again, that's like old world religion. I don't know what the new kids are practicing these days. Um, People who say they were falsely arrested, even put in jail after Hertz Car Rental filed police reports claiming wrongly that the rental cars had been stolen. We estimate, based on the company's figures released in court, that Hertz files an average of 3,500 stolen car reports per year. Now, only on CBS Mornings, we have the story of one of those Hertz customers who is sitting in jail right now as we speak. Our consumer investigative correspondent, Anna Werner, spoke. Now, Anne, I don't know the whole story. What I do know is I've got real-world Hertz vibration of the house this morning, like the physical, the physicality of the Panic Safely Sister room. And then I've got this going on where it's talking about Hertz, but in a different format in 
not necessarily plural C because I don't know what the doppelgangers, the rest of my kind, look, are going through at the same time. But for neural network, when you have multiple genetics that look exactly the same, you have multiple pinpoints of geography that you can align their, again, we can align our viewpoint, our POV, and then we become a really valuable tool, resource, and asset to help the planetary origami issue with energy crisis and global climactic whatever, because we are all somehow linked through cellular whatever on a whole different scale of prowess than what maybe the humans you woke up to or arrived to talk about. That's Charles Doucette speaking with us from Florida's Brevard County Jail. Last week, the pharmacy and healthcare consultant from New Hampshire says he was on a Caribbean cruise with his girlfriend. Back in port in Florida early the morning, they were sleeping when a knock came at the door. He was being arrested. Why? Last year, Doucette says, he had rented a car from Hertz for his business, properly extending the rental several times. But in March, police in Arizona stopped him and told him Hertz had filed a police report saying his rental car had been stolen. They towed the car, but Doucette says afterwards, Hertz charged his credit card the full amount for the rental. Yet in August, prosecutors acting on Hertz's police report took his case to a grand jury and indicted him. Facing a required court appearance in Arizona, he says, This is the scary part of humans with their paper. And I'm not talking rock, paper, scissors. I'm talking about just, I, you were on a boat and then they just took you and threw you in a jail cell? Why, again, I don't, that's like only a king can do that. I don't understand why, I mean, why are the socially agitated just at whim going out and, I don't know. He contacted a local attorney there and sent notarized documents so he wouldn't have to appear in person. It's not clear what occurred in the local court, but the next thing that happened was he was arrested. I am one of their best customers, and here I am sitting in jail. Especially since, he says, he's been an elite President's Circle member, who in 2020 and 2021 spent a... Elite Circle President member. That's interesting. I didn't even know renting cars you could get to such importance title. Who knew? Spent over fifteen thousand dollars with Hertz. This is his girlfriend of eighteen years who didn't want to be identified because of her job. I just want him home. I just want answers so we can pick up the pieces and move on. 230 people have filed claims in bankruptcy court saying Hertz filed a false police report against them. Hertz says situations where vehicles are reported to the authorities are very rare and happen only after exhaustive attempts to reach the customer. Attorney Francis Alexander Malafi represents Doucette and other... This psychosis of humans with their incessant love for filing toilet paper against one another and bankrupting one another and ruining each other's families and just like a disgusting gambling and chess game, then filing false police reports, then stalking and hunting down people's family members just to knock them off the board because of other, I mean, it, has really gone out of control and is really frightening. It just, it just is. I, 
there has to be, there's, there needs to be structure and forms and, and foundations built. I don't understand how they're becoming so unruly that they're able to go and file these false police reports just cause. Like, just because, I mean, and the lie or mislead. I just don't understand it. Another claimants. Hertz refuses to correct a police report when they learn payments made, when they learn the car has been returned, or when they learn that there's inaccuracies. We asked Hertz about Doucette's case. The company did not respond to those questions. Attorney Malafie sent this letter to the company over the weekend asking Hertz to help get Doucette out of jail. He says unless something changes, Doucette will be in jail for a minimum of 10 days because he's awaiting extradition to Arizona. Michelle? Oh, unbelievable, Anna. Just, just... I it is. It is it unbelievable. Really is. It, it's it's extremely well documented at this point, and it's it's going to be interesting to see what what Hertz says as it continues to, to have to deal with these cases in court. Two hundred and two hundred and thirty other people like him. All right, Anna. Up next, Vlad will have the stories. You're one of. I mean, and it's for socially agitated nonsense. I mean, to be thrown into jail like this. This is what I don't understand. Um, but here it says... Um, and here I think the reference might be Boston Massacre. The mass acre of the Bostones. Goes back to the thematic of tone, tone deaf, and the hurts. Um... It gets really confusing, this mention of British government, because it really is making me... It doesn't match... British in this context does not match rock, paper, scissors, foundations. Um, the way that it reads, it's sounding like it's part of... another clip in being able to read between the lines um they mention a prime minister william pitt um they mentioned they described something of a mother country which i thought was interesting i don't know a william pitt i do know a different version that i've run into along the way also by the name of john very respectable man um at least I respected him. I don't know. We did respectable business. Um, in what's a short sale? Um, I guess that was a teachable moment in whatever. Um, so I don't, is this, I mean, and then they have pictures. I mean, that's, the picture of Adams, Sam Adams, I'm just saying, it is, oh, and then they said something about a stamp act, um, which I was confused about, but um, it said something in there, which actually has happened, where they're removing paper and trying to go to more electronic libraries, and everything's electronic. I'm like, well, how do you raise money if everything's electronic? And the electronic's not even built right, because it's the one that's shortening the life and making people like myself blow up to, like, a pop piece of popcorn. Like a little tiny kernel, safe in its health. Whatever the way that it arrived, and then all of a sudden you put heat and or convection on it, and it blows up into this popped corn. 
That's really what I feel like as a human in this level of hertz and sunlight and UV light. I mean, it's there's bigger wizard level magical stuff that, I mean, which again, it sounds crazy, but I mean, at what level of human do I need to speak at? Because normal, like Lin and Lou, they don't walk around talking about magic. They don't talk about physics. I mean, for God's sakes, the house starts shaking and vibrating. Lou can, can't hear it. Lynn and I are trying to give him examples for him to, like, tune in his hearing. And he's like, I think it's the boiler. No, Lou, it's not the boiler. The boiler's a gas boiler, and it doesn't make any vibrations. It's not by its pilot by light, not by its pipes, not by any possibility. Um, it's not one of the old McLean's. But anyway, so then he's like, then, I mean... What other possibility? He's like, maybe it's fighter jets. I'm like, I know, I looked, I checked the sky. There's nothing flying overhead. And it is, it's a sound that, that is there. It rumbles and then it stops. And then it's there, it rumbles. And it rumbles at odd freak, at odd, uh, not f well frequency yes because it's the intensity but at odd intervals like sometimes the length of vibration is longer than at other times so it's i mean is it large spacecraft maybe like ufo that i can't see because it's in the spectrum just in the sky where it's cloaked maybe i mean who am i to say no but it's just, I mean, in the realm of possibilities, it's amazing the conversation of, like, I know I'm not crazy. I know there's a phenomenon going on. I know I try to explain it. But the interactions with the humans I was sent to, being parents or whatever you call your units, they're not even cognitively built to have a conversation of what's another possibility that it could be. Let's sit down and talk about this. They're just like, it's the boiler. It must be the tenants upstairs. Real Like, okay, and then outside of those two possibilities, is there anything else it could possibly be? Just curious. Because, like, uh, last time I checked, when I turned the TV on and when I went outside, um, and the way my life frame has just developed into, like, there's nothing that fills the day the way that it should. In a con like, I should be contributing somehow with mind, voice, hand, whatever. And currently, I can't find that opportunity or that niche or that hand to hold to bring me into wherever I need it. It's so frustrating. Um, to want to be part of something, but being held completely at distance for reasons that you don't know, because nobody speaks to you. Or nobody in whatever is actively like working on stuff is speaking to you so it's star 1978 star 8378 nicole cataruza it's earth solar system milky way universe galaxies broken it's bayside station bayside new york 11361 oh and it's i did say it's 15 on the grid um and i don't know how February is measured, but whatever on that.